Hey everyone, it's Thursday, February 25th. Let's play the quest calendar, get our daily dose of dungeon crawling, and our RDA of RPG. Alright, so yesterday we were packed by another set of goblins. Let's see what we're going to do today. Alright, so today's another map. We are in the goblin hideaway, and we're going to start appropriately on the room with the S, which is over there on the right hand side of the map. Then we're going to make our way throughout this map, however we want to go, resolving the rooms one at a time. Then we're going to make our way down to the room with the star, which is kind of in the bottom center there. So let's go ahead and start our way through here. All right, so we're going to start out here and go right over to room number two. And it's going to say, we walk into a room with a campfire. Some rowdy cheering can be heard from a table in the back of the room. Some goblins are enjoying a game of bone dice and don't notice you. There's a chamber of supplies near you. You might be able to sneak off with some. Roll d20 plus dexterity. And here again, you can use the stealthy skill if you have it. All right, so to the tower, and we're going to resolve room number two. And we're going to do that by rolling a d20 plus our dexterity. I'm not going to use my nimble ability today. I still have one of those left, but it hasn't really done anything for me thus far. So we're going to roll a d20 plus one because that's what my dexterity is. We have a rough day here. We roll a three plus a one gives us four. And as we check the results here, if the result is 10 or less, you make too much noise and draw attention of the goblins. They rush to attack you. You fend them off, but take two damage. Reduce your health by two. That's going to leave us with nine health. All right, so coming out of room number two, we're feeling some pain here. Uh, we're gonna go down, cross the bridge, and then go north up to area number three. So in area number three, there is a stream of fresh water flowing through the cave. You continue to follow it downstream to see where it goes. It ends at a hole in a cavern, and it must flow outward. This room smells disgusting and has been used to dispose of waste and refuse. The horrible stench is beginning to make you sick. Roll a d20 plus your constitution. So we'll come back over to the tower. Jasper's constitution is a zero, so it's just going to be whatever the d20 says today. And here we roll a nine. Checking the results for room three, if the result is 10 or less, you feel ill and begin to vomit in the room. Reduce your health by one. And that's gonna take us down to eight. All right, so back to the map. And again, things are just not going well at all. I don't wanna go all the way over there across the map. So we're gonna cut it, go down to room number four. And then from there, we're gonna go over to the star. So let's go over down and resolve room four. And room number four says, you enter a room and run into a small crate. As you look around, you see several barrels, crates, boxes, and sacks full of supplies. There's food here, but most of it is rotten. You can search around to try to find something useful. Roll a d20 plus your intellect. And here you can use the investigator ability if you happen to have that. All right, so back to the tower for room number four. We all know by now that Jasper is not an investigator, but our intellect is plus one. So we're going to go ahead and roll the d20, add one to it, and then resolve it. And finally, we get a decent roll of 15 plus 1. We give us 16. And when we look at the results, it says if you roll 11 or more, you manage to find enough edible supplies for one ration. Add one meal ration. That's great. We didn't have any of those going into today. And looking back at the map, I don't think that it's worth it to go over to room number 5. We've already dropped 3 points of health today. We did manage to find a meal ration, so we are going to go from room 4 over to the star and exit the map. All right, so today was a rough one. Jasper didn't do very well at all. We dropped a couple points of health. We did manage to find one meal ration, which is cool. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need to use one of those. So that's a plus, right? Hopefully we're one step closer to finding Victor and I can't get him and get away from the goblins fast enough. We didn't really have to try and fight any of those guys today, but he is just not as dexterous as he wants you to believe. Just a stubby little guy that's clumsy and loud. Goodness gracious. So, how'd your day go today? Let me know down in the comments. What path did you take? Did you find anything more useful than one meal ration? Let me know. Like the video while you're down there. Tell your friends about it. You can subscribe, so can they. And then everyone can come back tomorrow and hopefully we will go and find Victor and get back, turn him in, 
and start another quest. I'll see you guys tomorrow.